I was just really blessed with being born here in the northern beaches of Sydney. Once I stand up on a wave, that's it. It's me, the wave, the moment. There's nothing else matters. When I started out anyway, from my experience, I didn't know what I needed to do. You know, it's a lofty goal, become a world champion. What do you mean? You know, like, really? There was times when it was incredibly frustrating, incredible challenge, but definitely one worth going for. It was just an incredible experience being at the top of the game. I had to come into recovery from drug addiction in the end of 2006. I just feel really lucky that you know, I've got myself back <laughs> because I think I was really trying to find myself in, in, in drugs. It can end up a real, real sad mess. You turn it into a fight and the fight you'll never win until you actually surrender to um, some care and help. If you look and you search, there's help. Take a load off your shoulders, have a conversation with. When you're close friends, how they doing? And I know that that's helped me so much. For me, uh, it's, it's a real blessing having Nick in my life. He makes me step up to the plate, which is really good. I do some, a swimming squad with my brother. It's something that's incredibly challenging for my body and my body feels fantastic after it. I can't remember exactly which year it was that I got involved with Movember. It's my birthday month and I like the idea of like, everyone grows a mo, you know, like, how stupid is it? Really, you can just take the piss out of each other and at the same time raising funds to help and I can do all these different types of moves. It's a really exciting time to be a surfer. Every surf's different, every wave's different, but there's this really nice calm feeling that comes out with me back on land. And I can kind of pretty much deal with life at that point, you know?